Survivor Buffs, it's me, Toby. On behalf of the Buff Hedwer Company, I want to welcome you to my first video blog about Survivor Season 30, Survivor Worlds Apart. Um, this is actually a piece of a longer thing I'm working on, which involves a whole season, and I decided to break it out and make it its own small video uh, for you because it's about current players, and I know you're dying to find out what I think about them, and, you know, so I thought I'd bring it to you now. So, reading glasses on, because the library's open, and reading is fundamental. This library's been open for quite a while now, so I want to spend a few seconds to talk about the people that are left of the game and what's going to happen, clearly. And I'm only going to talk about the ones who even have a, 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 a shot, you know, a chance in hell of winning. Um, so, R Rodney. Rodney, first of all, I have never seen someone who cannot come up with an original thought. Everything he says is some soundbite or some phrase from somewhere. Like, you know, so I was like, yeah, we're getting New York to Miami, we get this, you know, you know, Jets and Patriots thing worked out. Yo, it's going to be off the chain. Yo, we're going to, you know, pop off. We're going to, you know, food folks and fun. Like, everything is a slogan or like a catchphrase or a, it's always some phrase that he heard. Like, he, you know, you, and he puts together, when he puts together an original sentence, you're just like, who just said that? It's, it sounds so weird. Because on, they edit, like, all, all it is is catchphrases. He's like Mr. Catchphrase. And they're all adding up to foolishness. He is sitting here trying to orchestrate this amazing coup, thinking he's some kind of general. Meanwhile, involved in this coup, he has Kelly. Before she got voted out. Who's Mike's best friend? So the coup's against Mike. Why would you include Kelly? That was the first thing. So I don't know if she told him before she left. Because Kelly was not the smartest person ever. I mean, goodness gracious. Not to digress, but... Is there, are there not tests to become a police officer? So she had to pass some kind of test at some point, right? How? How? She couldn't even figure out how to order six things that didn't look anything alike. When someone told her how to do it. And then when it was five things, still couldn't do it. Someone had to just literally tell her what to do. Not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Not even, I mean, not even a knife. I mean, it's like not even the sharpest chopstick in the drawer. Um, anyway, back to, to, to uh, this other fool. So he is sitting there, you know, as a general, and now he's, he's regrouping his army. He's always running off emotion and running off. He's going to go in and he's going to kind of has a good plan, but the plan involves a bunch of people who he really has no control over, like, you know, going to his side and not blabbing. And these people are very loyal to Mike for some reason. So I don't know. Rodney is just ridiculous. And also it relies on him keeping his cool. And who knows if he's going to be able to do it. I know his chest hair is growing in, so maybe that's a problem for him. Um, and maybe when you're number two is Will, that's another issue that you got. Um, the no collars, they're just gone. They're just going to just gonna have to be gone. I feel bad. I really like Joe and Jen, but I just feel like they, Joe's going to look like they win every immunity. He's going to have to pull a Colby because he's, he's like the Malcolm of the season, but without the like social skills with everybody. Um, and I, you know, it would have been good, but it's just he's too strong. And it's him versus Mike. So at that point, Mike wins because no one else has done anything. So unless they just they unless Rodney's plan comes together, which would be kind of amazing, because that would literally be the inmates running the like idiots running the asylum, then then Mike wins. So these are your options. This would happen. So they're gonna be Mike or Rodney, unless Joe like literally wins every immunity, uh, or sneak attack Carolyn. Because Carolyn's a surprise person. I think we should watch her. She's smart. She's underestimated. And um, like she said, you know, she's done some, she's, she just wants to be no collar. She's white collar. She covers all the grounds. And she's like a mama figure. I think she could do really well. She needs to make a big move. Besides her one big move, which is having the immunity idol. And that's about it. I mean, now we're, we, we kind of eliminate all the idiots except for Dan. I'm not going to discuss him and uh, Rodney. And so, game on could be boring for a couple weeks, but they're doing actually a very good job of editing the episodes to make them seem exciting. Um, even though Haley went home, it was a you could have predicted from the beginning, they did make it be a nail biter to the end. So that is something they're doing very well in season 30. 
Huh. And that's about it. Well, so my buffs, I hope you enjoyed this quick trip to the library. Like I said, I'll have more from the library uh, in a few days. Uh, but in the meantime, I've got a lot to do. So, uh, I've got to do my taxes, for example. It's uh, April 14th, so chop chop. And I also have to shave off this ridiculous beard. So, uh, look for my written recaps and other stuff on the Buff website. Also, check out my website, tobyblackwell.com. And unlike I've done by putting my taxes off for so long, make good choices. Nice work. You can get it. And you can get it if you try.